Hello, I am Klaus. I do really appreciate when people take time to watch my videos, especially the beginner's tutorials, because they are very important to understand DaVinci Resolve 15 very well. So in today's video, I'll talk to you about what to do if you are using, for instance, drone footage or actually any kind of footage which are having or which are giving you a hard time playing back in DaVinci Resolve. There is a couple of options you can use. And I want to show you all about that right now. So let's do it. Let's get to it. Let's go to the edit suite. Okay, and here we are back in DaVinci Resolve in the media tab. And let's just see if we can find some drone footage to work with pretty quickly. So let's see if we have a good shot somewhere here. Yeah, okay. Um, what was I doing that day? Hmm. One must wonder. Okay, let's just do a quick in point by pushing I and let's find an out point by pushing O. Let's say around here and let's drag that down to the media pool and let's just find a clip more to work with. So the reason I am doing these as sub clips, by the way, is or you're going to find out that very soon. Um, okay, I have pushed again an in point and an out point and let's drag that down and let's just find a last clip to work with. And, and as you see, this is pretty laggy already. So as you see up here in the top corner, you can see the frame rates running and it's a 4K clip at 25 frames a second. Uh, and it's from a drone and it's a pretty compressed or at least hard for the machine to work on, as you see right here. You can see the frame rate up in the top. It's like 22 and 18 and it's not good. So let's do an in point and let's see if we can find an out point on that. And let's fix that in one second. Okay, so let's go to the editing tab and let's just drag our three clips down here by highlighting and dragging them. Okay. Zoom out a bit here and uh, let's have a look here. Okay. Okay, as you see, it plays it back kind of okay. But I mean, there's a couple of options or what you could do if you are having issues with the playback, of course. Um, let's have the second clip here. I place it back. Kind of okay. And then the last clip, let's have a look at that. And it doesn't play back very well at all. As you see right up here at the frames per second. Okay, so um, let's see what we can do to make our footage run better. So if you go to playback, you can, um, of course, use the performance mode here. You can toggle that on and off. I always have that on. Otherwise, you can use the proxy mode where you can have resolution. And let's see what that actually does. So it'll make this 4K footage go a little bit smoother. And if we go there and change it to quarter res, you'll see and it runs pretty smoothly, but it's also so blocky that you can't see anything on it. So how can you fix that issue if it's not enough for you? Oh, let's see. Yeah, still really laggy. Okay, so how to fix that? By going down here and uh, first off, we need to change the resolution we want to show out the bin. So here we have some DNHX, and I want to change that to a little smaller. So um, let's say SQ should be fine, and I'll do that for the second one as well. Change that to SQ. And then I'll just say save. And what we need to do now is we need to optimize our media so it can run faster. And the main reason that I actually made it as sub clips is that we do not have to render as long a clip because if we had just dragging the full clip down we'll have to 
optimize all of the clip. Now we only need to do it in a small portion and that will make things go way faster. So just a little trick on that. Okay, here we are. Yeah, there we go. So just the way it uh, should be, I feel like. Okay, looking good. So this definitely works if your computer is a bit slow. Um, one thing to keep in mind, of course, is when you render, For in any case, just toggle this off up here in the playback so you're not rendering that out. Just saying. Uh, and of course, we can also change the catch from user to smart. I have mine on user because that works for me, but maybe you can change it to smart so it'll render the clip in the background. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on our channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.